So Anime Vanguard's dropped a 0.5 update and they recently released Raids and two brand new mythics which contained Akaza and Tengen and in this video I was solely just working on getting the best version of Akaza by evolving him and also spending so many hours on getting the brand new red webs to go ahead and evolve Akaza himself. So let's not waste any time and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys and here it is the Akaza is in the banner right now so we do only have 6300 gems but I I really have to I'll go ahead and also purchase a bit more but there we go ultra lucky potion and there we go let's go ahead and purchase this and also the super lucky potion come on hopefully I can get the Akaza very early and I don't have to spend too many gems but uh come on let's go come on I'm just gonna I don't know I seen someone do this on a YouTube video and I'm just gonna do this myself but uh there we go all the gems are essentially spent come on come on there we go all that has been spent let me actually see do I get the Akaza uh let's see one two three oh Oh, yes, we do actually get the Akaza. No way. We actually managed to pull the Akaza. Wait, what else did we actually get? Okay, so you can't actually see. But there it is. Akaza has been obtained. And okay, looking good. Do we actually get the new legendary? I don't think we didn't get the legendary. Wait, did I have it? Oh, we did. So I couldn't actually get the new legendary, which was the new farm unit. But uh, yeah, it is fine. Uh, let's actually go to the collection. What is all the new units? So we got Akaza, of course. There we go. That is it. And yeah, we got a few legendaries. Right. So, of course, don't want to waste no time. I want to go ahead and go to the trait area. Hopefully, I can actually go ahead and get a good trait. But before I do that, evolve. Let me actually see what is needed to evolve the Akaza. So, Akaza, okay, you need... Okay, okay. This is looking serious. So, we need demon beads, which... Let me actually check how you get that. So, crafting. Okay, you, so you can't actually get the demon beads from here. So, I'm guessing you need it from the raids. But other than that, we do have all the essence stones that is needed. So, that is good. Let's go to the raids. Yep, there it is. It's actually open. And we got some new stuff like the boss event which i will check out in just a second raid shop so okay okay oh goodness so each bead holds a fragment of demonic power granting the wearer enhanced strength hesitated senses and resistance to curses okay right so how do you actually get 600 of these let me see so if we go to uh this so for the first act you get 25 red webs second act i guess you get more so uh yeah that's actually that's actually pretty cool let me actually go also go ahead and spend some trait crystals just so i can get a good trait on the akaza 25 well 50 percent exp would actually be pretty good let me see let me actually want to check something ramen akaza feed boom so if we actually don't have the 50 percent exp we'll get to level 37 but let's actually try to get the um extra 50 percent oh there we go scholar so let me actually check does it give us like higher levels does it actually really impact like feeding oh yeah it actually does fit 42 okay thank you i'm not gonna do it just yet come on boom boom range i'll spend like 20 trait crystals because because I don't want to spend too much because Rengoku is actually pretty overpowered. So yeah, Akaza, Moxman. I think I think Moxman's pretty good. I think I should probably just keep Moxman for now. Okay, I'll spend six more. One, two, three. Okay, I'll keep Scholar. I'll keep Scholar because I should probably level up my unit first, and that's like the main priority. So uh, yeah, there we go. Scholar is upgraded. We do have the Song Jin Wu, which is going to help carry into other runs. So uh, yeah, let's go raids. So let's get straight into. Let me actually see all the new codes that has recently. So the first code is going to be Code Slayer. I think. Yeah, there we go. 1,000 gems. Thank you. And the next one, late update. Sorry. Thank you very much. So we got 2,000 gems. That is pretty good. Right. Let's go ahead. Jump into Spider Forest where we get to 5 to 10 red webs. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. We don't actually get anything else. So that is, um, I'm not too happy with that, but it should be fine. Right. Let's go and let me place my boy Speedwagon right here. There we go. And I like this that you can actually just upgrade straight away from here. All right. So base HP that these guys are spawning is 149, which is actually pretty low. I can't lie. I uh, does it have decent range? I think it actually it does seem like it does have good range. I can't lie. 7.6 second SPA is um pretty crazy though. I can't lie. So um, hopefully as it upgrades we can actually um get better SPAs. But with that said, oh we can't even place okay. Let's actually place Akaza right here. There we go. Okay, okay, that's actually pretty good. Um 750 damage. I think that's pretty decent. I can't lie. Multi hit as well. Yeah, I mean you can't really complain about that. But right, let me go ahead and place a Sung Jin Wu right here. There we go. Mr. Sung Jin Wu, bro. You just cannot beat this unit man this guy is crazy yeah man this act is super easy man and i love this unit manager i can't lie this is pretty cool yeah i can't lie this unit manager bro this is so good but uh let's continue i'm gonna go ahead and place like a few aggressors right here and i will see you guys in just a second once we actually finish this act all right uh, there we go q gun um yeah this guy got destroyed pretty easily but there we go nine secret webs so i will take that all right let's go ahead and jump into return to lobby merely just want to see like what am i gonna get next so yeah we 
got 10 spider webs, which is not actually that much. So the next act, we get 15 to 20, which is actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Let's go ahead and also do this as well. And I'm actually, I'm surprised that it does actually take 20 waves to defeat. So, um, yeah, I think I should have probably gotten a new legendary formula. I can't lie. All right, there we go. Yeah, Baba. Okay, there we go. 50,000 HP. That was pretty easy. Yeah, there we go. 130 gems, 18 red webs. Okay, thank you very much. Now, I did not actually see the stage info on the middle right of my screen so uh on to the next act and let's actually see what do we get so we got 35 to 45 red webs okay now we're getting a lot more so this is fantastic all right i don't think this is going to be too hard i mean let's actually see what are the base hp okay 300 hp base this is too easy bro what man these guys need to really level up that game because uh what is this 30 330 hp i can literally take care of this with literal legendary mobs come on now all right and there we go susan moru this guy got absolutely destroyed i can't lie bro did not even last like five seconds but there we go 42 spider webs i will take that gladly and time to go on the next act right, let's see what we get so we get a one percent chance of getting the man himself rengoku which i want to do one time because um hey bro it doesn't hurt to try and then you also get 20 to 25 red webs which i'm guessing is act three is going to be the best to actually grind i'm gonna do this one time just to see how i can do and why do i not get that much again wait hold on wait 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 wait, wait. all right there we go we do we do we'll do this really quickly we'll see how it goes and hopefully we can get some good rewards all right there we go we're on the boss right now and 200,000 hp is pretty crazy i'm not gonna lie hopefully we can take care of it. i don't know why my sung jin was literally my sung jin was literally stunned right now i don't even know how to like not start like unstun it come on what am i doing what's wrong why is he stunned bro no way we're about to fail right now no way we're about to fail right now because my unit is literally stunned what how do i unstun it now this is high key crazy come on why is my unit still stunned what bro that was low key crazy i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna place the sung jin wu like right here let me sell him boom there we go 20,000 yen can we take care of this please say we can because i don't even know how we're stunned all right we're stunned once oh, no we're not even actually stunned wait come on demon father can we take care of this as well okay we did take care of that demon mother can we take care of this yep there we go 44,000 hp come on we can do this we can do this chat come on 21,000 hp left come on last one more hit one more hit one more hit yes there we go we got that as well now this should be easy come on one more hit one more hit one more hit boom arise yes sir there we go easy thank you very much do you get the rengoku though um probably not and yeah we don't get the rengoku but what i'm gonna go ahead and do now i am going to keep repeating act three until i get enough of those red webs so i'll be back well once i get 600 i'll see you guys in just one second all right okay guys i just came back and i did come back with a takarada now takarada apparently is like the best farm unit in the entire game but uh yeah well i actually see that right now in the game hopefully it is wait where is the um, where's the area wait hold on wait all right there we go so takarada um it's actually gonna be pretty insightful to see if this guy's actually good or not so but yeah we're getting 300 yen on placement that is not good bro what bro yeah we're not making no money anytime soon oh my bro we're on wave seven right now and i've only gotten such little amount of yen bro this is crazy man i don't think this guy is pretty good i can't lie i really thought it was gonna be a lot better but bro it's taking way too long and this guy also have fortune as well yeah man it's taking way too long to get my money bro come on give it to me sakurada yes there we go 7500 bro this is crazy expensive all right so i did actually just grind for like a very long time i do finally get the demon beads and i think that's the correct thing to actually get with hold on obviously i want to make sure that i don't actually buy the wrong thing so i was gonna buy demon beads is that the correct one though hold on let's see right akaza and yes demon beads is the correct one and bro this is some serious bro wait 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 wait. we might actually not even have enough wait hold on pink essence stone and blue essence stone wait hold on pink essence let's see boom 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 and then blue i think we should have enough right wait hold on yeah we should have enough i think yeah there we go so we do have everything bro i need to grind seriously tonight because um yeah i'm broke after this but uh, let's go ahead and get akaza demon beads there we go thank you very very much right there we go all right so now what i can actually go ahead and do is at last upgrade mr akaza i think akaza is the best unit in the game i don't even know actually his s his enhanced generation gives reduces time of status limitations damage 11 percent with each attack okay that's not really that too big of a deal but uh, akaza come on give me um the evolved version there we go oh, wait if i actually evolve the guy his worthiness goes down wait let me just actually like start reroll maybe i get something good like an z stats who knows come on boom oh what what asz on 17 percent stat worthiness what the hell 
Bro, that is crazy, bro. I don't even need to literally grind anymore. I've literally got the best stance in the game. Bro, no way. Oh, well, time to evolve. Thank you very, very much. So we get one new passive, one new active ability, um, annihilation ability, 50% damage. Boom. There we go. Thank you very, very much. Let's go. Appreciate that. So now what I am going to go ahead and do is I'm going to, of course, fully feed him maxed. Uh, let me actually go ahead and feed. Boom. Okay, level 44. That's actually pretty solid still. But uh, let me go. Feed. Thank you very, very much. And now onto the traits. Right, come on. Hopefully, I can get something good. Obviously, if I get a marksman straight away blitz, I will use that because um his ability is gonna be pretty good. So come on, give me something good. Come on, I'll even take a soul or a dead eye. Come on, come on. 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 30. Fortune, no. Come on, give me something good. Come on, come on. Bro, no way. Bro, give me a good trait, please. Scholar. Bro, I spent 50 trade crystals. Come on. Marksman. Yeah, I'm gonna keep marksman. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep marksman just because like I'm, he's gonna have a new ability and that's gonna be crazy overpowered. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna definitely use that. Let me actually go ahead and remove Chai and just put Haruka in inside my team. There we go. So for my team, I'm gonna put Sung Jin Wu first, and then Igris, and then Akaza, and then of course Haru Karin. And uh, lastly on my team, of course, I'm gonna put like that farm unit. Where's that farm unit gone? That's like the best farm unit in the entire game. I need that right now. Bro, wait, I think I just deleted my farm unit on accident. Wait, what? Did I delete my farm unit on an accident? Bro, oh, uh, there it is. Taka Rider. Right, there we go. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is do we actually get any rewards from this? No, we don't. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is we're gonna go ahead and jump into an infinite mode because I wanna see how overpowered this really is. So, infinite mode, let's get to it. Hopefully, it is pretty strong. Right, so, there we go. Nightmare mode. Hopefully, this Akasa is actually really strong. And I really want this guy's passive to be very, very good. Right, so, we're in the game right now. Come on, let's go ahead and fully max out this Taco Rider. Um, I want to make sure I can get this guy fully maxed out as soon as possible because uh, he's going to give some good yen. Bro, I want Anime Vanguard to, like, release a 3x game pass, but that would be so good. Right, so, I've got 7,000 yen. I'm going to go to place, like, a Sanji Moon, like, right here, you know. Just, like, for extra backup. I'm going to go ahead and place the Akaza down and okay. That range is beautiful look at that that is pretty crazy so now don't keep in mind now keep in mind that this guy does have a z stats and he does have the marksman traits so uh yeah it's gonna be pretty crazy to see how he is going to be fully maxed out All right so he's doing 2k and 7.3 range okay i think wait his sp has actually gone up i don't know i think he actually has why why is bro's spa gone up i literally have an s stat bro come on now All right so let's go ahead and upgrade and get the first ability art right, so the first one is collapse let me actually go ahead and check this ability out okay All right, let's do that again let's do that again hold on so collapse um okay okay that animation is pretty cold i can't lie yeah, that animation is pretty solid so it is a 6.9 second spa which i'm not actually happy with but uh hey bro i mean hopefully it does go down as we progressively upgrade boom all right so the next ability is going to be disorder now i think this is the ability where it does become like a rectangular aoe or something all right let's see boom disorder and there we go right look at that let's go ahead and actually spectate go into spectate mode and let's see this right come on oh okay Okay. okay, that's actually pretty cool. Wait, let's see that one more time. Yes, that's actually not bad. Okay, Akaza. Akaza looking pretty crazy right now. I'm pretty curious to see how his um upgrade requirement eight ability is going to be or is a uh, passive. But uh, hopefully it's actually pretty good. Come on, let's go. Let's actually do that again. Akaza, upgrade boom, boom. Okay, the next ability is going to be compass needle. Let's go ahead. Upgrade boom. And we actually get an ability with it as well. But let's actually see the attack first. Let's see. Is it the same ability? Okay, it's the same ability. But we do get a passive. Um, let's see. So damage and range goes up by 30% and immune to stun while compass needle is active and i think that actually does go with everyone else in your range which i think is pretty cool but let's go ahead and do that boom 30 percent range and 33 percent damage okay that range is pretty crazy bro 50 range 60 range is ridiculous and i can just leave this on auto mode i'm boosting 10 000 damage at upgrade eight that is pretty solid next ability annihilation oh what is this whoa oh i've never seen this before that's actually pretty unique okay wait what's that oh is that a bug i think that might actually be a bug what the heck? I have never seen that before. What? Is that even legit? Is that what it actually is in like the game? Or is that like something new? I think it is something new. I'm not going to lie because I've never seen this before. Upgrade. Do we get another ability? Okay, there we go. That's maxed out. So maxed out 50 range. Well, 47.1 range. 6.9 second SPA and 10.3 thousand damage. Now, if we put that in comparison to, for example, like um, an Igris, which I will show you in a second, but uh, I want to see what it's like with the buff. Both buffs. Let's see. So it is going to do. Let's see. Haruka has it done his buff. Come Haruka. Do your buff, bro. Let's do, so there we go. The buff. 3% buff. Off, and then let's also go ahead and do the compass needle again bro 14 000 damage and 63 range but that is crazy what let's actually see like how much damage that is in comparison to like igris let's see so yeah i think if i'm not mistaken akaza does do more damage than igris if igris didn't have the this trait right here this ethereal trait or like i think the solar trait yeah which is actually pretty crazy i'm not gonna lie because um come on now igris is literally a secret wait no igris does do a little bit damage just by a little bit but i think like in terms of, like sp yeah igris is better igris is 100 better what am I 
talking about but uh yeah that is pretty much it that is the showcase and basically me maxing out the akaza so uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy subscribe and good night